Hello, how are you today? My name is Munira Juma Sadiq. I hope you feel better and you are in a good condition. I welcome you all in our new English lesson. I'm very happy to see you again in the continuation of our lessons. Are you ready to study? Are you ready? Are you happy? Very good. Great. You are welcome. Welcome. Our today's lesson will be about telling time. All of you say telling time. Very good. Asking and telling time. And I'll make sure that by the end of the lesson, you will be able to tell the time. Define the time. Identify the origin and meaning of a.m. and p.m. To identify the starting and the ending of a.m. and p.m. To read and tell the correct time in o'clock, quarter past, half past and quarter to. Before starting our lesson, please find a notebook and a pen to write the important tips. Okay, we are back. Are you ready? Oh, fine. Smart learners. You are very smart. Seem that you are very smart today. My dear, let us enjoy with a short warm-up. Are you ready for warm-up? Okay, listen this song of Hickory Dickory Dock. This is a nursery rhyme, but this is very wonderful for you. Listen it. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse went up the clock, the clock struck one, the mouse went down. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. A frog. Hickory dickory dock. The frog went up the clock, the clock struck two, the frog went down. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Have you ever seen a timepiece anywhere? Yes, have you ever seen? Yes, where did you see the timepiece? Very good, at home. Yes, at school, excellent. And you, in the library, wonderful. Wonderful, you are all correct. Can you tell me what they are inside the timepiece? The timepiece inside, where, what, are, what are they? Yeah, tell me, my dear. Yes, you, digits, yes. Can you read these digits? They are 12 digits. Have you seen this? 12 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Very good. They are twelve digits in the face of time. How many are they? They are only twelve. Only twelve. Okay? Good. What is another thing can you observe in the face of clock? What? Three hands. Very good. Three hands. Can you help me to identify the function of this? Yes. The longest one. You see this? The longest one? Uh -huh. Thin and the long one. This hand shows, shows what? Yes, this shows uh, second and the medium one points minutes and the shortest hand points hours. Are we together? Excellent. What is another thing can be seen, right? We can see scales. Very good. We can see scales. Very good. Praise yourself. Praise yourself. Very good. Now, let us see the following important vocabulary in telling time. Minutes, hours, o'clock, half past, two, quarter two, quarter past. 
Very good. Now I want you to spell this vocabulary. M I N U T E S minus H O U R S hours O C L O C K o'clock T O two Q U A R T E R Chota. Okay, amazing. Wow. In our daily life activity, we should use time, isn't it? Do you know the meaning of time? Just think deeply. What time is? Can you define what time is? Yes, can you try? Very good, Abdul Satar. I want to hear your voice. Try. Yes, try to tell me. Yes, speak up. Okay, time can be defined as the progression of event from the past to the present into the future. Very good. Clap one for them. Great. Very standard answer. I clap for you. You are great. Come and take your gift. Okay, this gift for you. Yes, Halil, what do you want to say? Do you want to say anything? Oh, you want to ask? Yes, ask? Yes, he wanted to know. Yes, do you want to ask anything? Ask me, please. Yeah? Yes, he said that he wanted to know the meaning of AM and PM. Who can try to give me the meaning of AM and PM? These are also important. Uh -huh. Can you try? Amina, can you try? What is the meaning of AM and PM? We can start with AM. AM is abbreviation of antimeridium, which means before noon. Before noon. Very perfect answer. Good answer, my dear. Let us look at the time duration. That indicate before noon. I mean a.m. Okay. Look at this. Have you seen it? Now, who can tell us the meaning of p.m.? Yes, Mariam, tell us. Very good, Mariam. P.m. is the abbreviation of post meridian. Which means after noon. After noon. Okay? Are we together? This is after noon. A.M. before P.M. is after noon. Okay? Can you tell me the origin, country of these words? Yes, Ali? Both are Latin words. Very good. A.M. and P.M. both are Latin words. How wonderful you are. You are absolutely correct. Come here to check your gift. Check. Say thank you. This gift for you. Okay? Say thank you. You are a good boy. My dear viewers, we always see and use time in our life experience, isn't it? Is it correct? Yes. Can we identify the importance of telling time? Is it time for us to tell the time? Yes. Tell me loudly. Keeping promise. Misuse of time. Very good, very good. Do you have any other idea? We tell the time in order to be punctual. That is not to be late. Very good, you are great. Nice. Another can try? Another can try? Also, we make appointment to avoid collision of planned event. Very good. All our uses of time. Come, good boy, take a gift for you. You are obviously genius learner. Very good. It's a good if you will group yourself. Yes, make a group of three. And here, make a group of three. Three, sit in three. 
Yes, my friend. Join that group. Halit, why you sit alone? Join that group. I like sitting group because you will get more idea from your group members. Sit in group. Make a group. Are your groups well organized? Yes, nice. Use three minutes to draw a face of time piece. Then you will show me after break. Take a piece of paper, draw time, okay? Have a short break. Welcome again. Are you happy? Are you happy? Let us enjoy by having a warm up of a cycle and a clap. Okay? I will ride my bicycle using my hands like this, and you will clap your hands according to the speed of my writing. Okay? So, like this clap. Wow! Fantastic! Fantastic! I told you. To make a clock sample, paper clock. Wow, wonderful. Those are fine. Can I see them, please? Yes, that is good. And that is also good. Hashim, show me your. Very good. Your paper is good and your time also is good. Can you show me your pictures, please? Yes, I want to see yours. Oh, very nice drawing. Have you drawn yourself? Very good. We say that a face of clock has three hands, also has 12 scales. Here they are. Good. Now let us learn this. Okay? This is very nice. Say o'clock again. O'clock. Good job. O'clock. When you say o'clock, make sure that your minute hand is direct to number 12. Let us have a message now. I wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning or dawn. I blow off my nose. I wipe my face. I do my simple body exercise, indoor exercise up to 6 o'clock. How wonderful you are. Do you enjoy it? Please all of you say, it is quarter past. Very good. Again. It is a quarter past. Very good. It is quarter past. We are going to learn quarter past. When we learn quarter past, the minute hand should point on three. This three should be pointed. Look at this. Let us tell the time together. What time is it now? It is quarter past seven. It is quarter past eight. It is quarter past nine. It is quarter past ten. It is quarter past eleven. It is quarter past twelve. Great. How wonderful you are. I appreciate the way you joined the class. You are nice. Your answers are correct. Very good. Well tried. Have a break.
are back again mm-hmm. in Telling Time. Welcome in our quick Telling Time. All of us, let us say half past. Again, mm-hmm. half past. When we tell half past, meaning mm-hmm. that this minute hand should point on six. You see number six here? Okay. Let's together tell the following time twice. Okay. It is half past seven. It is half past eight. It is half past nine. It is half past ten. It is half past eleven. It is half past twelve. Amazing. Very good job. Praise yourself by three factorial clap. One, two, three. One, two, one. Very good. Do you like this? Hand clap. Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. Wonderful. That is a fac- three factorial clap. Can you try to tell me what time is it now? Yes, can you try? Yes, it is quarter two. Again, quarter two. Look at this time piece. Then tell us the time together. It is quarter to seven. It is quarter to eight. It is quarter to to nine it is quarter to ten it is quarter to eleven it is quarter to twelve very good you see we are the pointer of quarter two this is different with the quarter past I'm very happy to hear your voice it seems that you can tell the time easily now, is it? You can try to tell the time easily. It is very simple for you to tell the time. My dear viewers, now please have a look of this Hajra's routine. Hajra goes to bed at 9 o'clock. She goes upstairs for 5 minutes. Now it is 5 Past nine. She is in her bedroom. She gets undressed and gets into bed on ten past nine. She turns off the light and falls asleep at quarter past nine. She wakes up when her clock rings at five o'clock. She gets up and performs simple body exercise from five past five to quarter past five. She takes shower from sixteen past five to sixteen five past five and finish dressed at half past five. She goes down to the kitchen to prepare for preparing her breakfast at half past five. Can you please tell me your daily routine, please? Yes, I want you to prepare your daily routine by using telling time. Okay, good. We are learning now minutes. When we want to tell the time in minutes, first we look at the minute hand, then we tell hours. Do you get my point? Let us start. What time is it now? What time is it now? It is five past seven. It is five past seven. It is seven past seven. It 
is 10 past 7. It is 20 past 7. It is 5 past 7. It is 10 past 8. It is 12 past 8. It is 20 past 8. It is 7 past 9. It is 9 past 9. Very good. Very good. Look at this clip now. What time is it? Past. Past. It's five past nine. It's ten past nine. It is a quarter past nine. It is twenty past nine. It is twenty five past nine. It is half past nine. Very nice clip. Have you seen the clip? We are still learning telling time. Let us say two again. Two. Very good. And you? Two. We can tell the time together. What time is it now? It is 5 to 12. It is 10 to 12. It is 20 to 12. It is 20 to 11. It is 5 to 11. Right? Are we together? It is 20 5 to 10. It is 25 to 10. It is 20 to 10. It is 10 to 10. Hello, my dear. Thank you for your good participation. Okay? Thank you for your good participation, my dear viewers. Could you remind me what have we learned today? Can you tell me? Yes, today. Today we learned about telling the time, asking and telling the time. Now we know the meaning of a.m. and p.m. We learn about quarter past, half past, quarter two, and o'clock. Fantastic. Let us let us have two clubs. One, two. What time is it? Two. Two. It is twenty five to ten. It is twenty to ten. It is a quarter to ten. It is ten to ten. It is five to ten. Before saying goodbye, allow me to give you a work to do. Are you ready for the work? Oh, amazing, amazing, very good. Please look at the display time on your screen and then fill in the gap using the word past or to. Past or to. You see, what time is it? It is dash seven.
What time is it? It is half dash five. What time is it? It is ten dash nine. What time is it? It is twenty dash five. What time is it? It's quarter dash three. Okay, you are great. Another question. Listen carefully. Again, look at the display time on your screen. Then choose the correct answer. What time is it? It is twelve o'clock. It is half past three, or it is three o'clock. Choose only one. What time is it? Five past nine, nine past five, or one past nine? What time is it? It is either six past nine. Or half past nine, or half past nine. What time is it? It is a quarter to twelve, or nine o'clock, or a quarter past twelve. What time is it? It is seven o'clock, or half past two, or half to two. My dear, I'm very happy now. I know everybody now knows how to tell the time. Use the knowledge of telling time to tell the time. Thank you very much. You are with me, Munira. Until next time, I say bye. See you next time. Ciao.